So I'm here in a fam family member's really nice Tesla Model S. Got a little interesting job today. This uh, this, little, this this stalk here is the cruise control stalk, and you can see it's a bit floppy. Um, it's been broken. There was an incident involving a dog lead getting wrapped around it, which basically snapped the stalk off. So um, the this, this car's out of warranty. Tesla wanted a lot of money, um, a thousand pounds, to fix this. Um, but I'm going to have a go at doing it myself, so we're going to try and swap out the steering column for this new, well, new uh, second-hand unit here, which uh, should be uh, should be compatible. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So the first step is going to be to uh, disconnect the 12-volt um, battery pad on the car so we can safely remove uh, the airbag module. Okay, bit of progress after disconnecting the uh, first responder loop under the bonnet and uh, disconnecting the 12-volt battery. The car's now all dead, so we can now safely remove the airbag. Undone two little Torx screws under here, and on the other side, T25 Torx, and then this airbag module now just lifts away like that. So I just need to undo a couple of little clips. Ooh, that was tricky. Just managed to loosen this big um, bolt there, fitting the uh, steering wheel on. That was pretty tight. I had to get this really long bar on it and kind of brace it between my between my legs. As I uh, as I turned it, okay, wheel is off. Made sure to make sure the steering was perfectly straight, and make a note of the notch there that lines up with a little notch on the wheel there for when I'm ready to run it. But to put it back on straight. There we go. I just gave the steering column a little wiggle, and then did the bit of trim there, and now this has come away. I think there should be now just one connection. I need to undo. That's holding this on. There we go. That's the old one. I'm taking off. That's the new one we're putting on. Well, I say new, it's from a salvage vehicle. I didn't film any more video after this, but I basically just put it back together, the reverse of taking it apart, and um, yeah, everything worked fine. Stalk operation was back to normal. Went for a drive to make sure everything was good. Quite a simple job, really. No software programming needed or anything like that. Yeah, Tesla wanted a thousand pounds to do this, uh, to do this repair, and I did it for 120 pounds. The reason Tesla gave for the fact they wanted to charge so much money was the replacement part that they wanted to fit actually required uh, a whole new wheel and whole airbag assembly. So it seems maybe they don't make um, this uh, just the sort of stalk um, steering column assembly from um, this is a 2016 vehicle anymore. Um, if they needed to replace it, it would require a newer part, which would require replacing, yeah, lots more parts. I, I managed to source a, uh, a replacement part from the same, um, from the same era, which uh, fitted just fine. There does seem to be quite a number of revisions of the steering column part. I have no idea if uh, you know which revisions would work, um, but I just chose uh, the parts from the same model year vehicle which happened to have the same, you know, part that was fitted to the car and uh, that, that worked fine.